this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown if i'm on the mission is you riding like some michelin homie in the kitchen fire stones how he whipping it i be on my michigan blue and yellow vintage it's make a right on michigan 69 too hot for us if you click this video to hit a breakdown of season one episode one of everybody hates chris i need you to hit the like button now and if you new to the channel click the subscribe button and to my cinema cronies drop a flex emoji in the comments episode one starts off with the live action chris this is kind of dope so the vibe from this is that they're actually gonna take the old episodes and then expound on them as a cartoon which is man like i say that's dope so it starts off with Chris basically taking a GED. He ends up uh, not passing it. And his mom says, yo, if you don't pass, you didn't pass that, I'm going to smack you in the animation. And she smacks him and he turns into an animation. That's so amazing right there. I like that part of it. Then we got Chris just going through everything, right? So they give the intro. The intro is amazing. Julius actually have them take Chris food back because Chris didn't pass his grades and this was a celebration for you but if you ain't passed it's nothing to celebrate Chris ended up having to go back home and he was embarrassed because he didn't pass his mom hairdresser made a cake from him she said well it was a congratulation cake she said oh well and dropped it in the garbage because he didn't pass Rochelle ripped down Chris banner and when she ripped it down it said f you Chris um, as in y'all know what the F stand for and one thing I want to let y'all know is that this is not really kid friendly They got a lot of little um, innuendos in there that are for adults that adults may catch on to Your kid may not catch on to but it's a possibility they will but it's a lot of little stuff in here like that Julius told Chris if you're not gonna go to school You gotta get a job or you getting out of the house. You can't have you being a bum He said you're gonna be a bad influence. Well Rochelle ended up telling Chris Hey, bro, you got to go back to your old school. Now, Chris is basically panicking about what's going on. He definitely don't want to go back to that school because he was a loser there at first, and he's basically a loser there now. So when you look at the situation, um, he thought about possibility of getting the job, and he didn't want to get it. Rochelle had some dreams about Chris being a bum. What Chris ended up doing was he wanted to be cool this time around, so he paid Mr. Omar. Mr. Omar gave him some dead people clothes. Um, Julius had a funny line where he said, oh, you got those clothes for half off? And I've been buying y'all a live people clothes this entire time. Him and Drew end up getting on a bus together to ride to school. Basically, he was talking about how cool Drew was because some girls who was going to his school ended up giving Drew a ride to the school. Chris ended up walking to school. He ended up falling in some shit while he was walking. Once he got to the school, Drew told him he stank. And Drew was asking him why he didn't like the school. Drew felt the school was fine. But Chris, walking through the hall, explained to him why it wasn't. Greg was embarrassed embarrassed to be seen with Chris because Chris was, you know, he was wild. Now, Rochelle wanted a new bed, so Julius went out and got a new uh, third job, even though he told her he wouldn't. Then he ended up finding out that she was working at the job, and he was going to be her supervisor, and that started to make her slack off. Uh, needless to say, Rochelle ended up saying that her man had two jobs and she didn't need this. So eventually she ended up quitting the job. Caruso was back to bully Chris. So what Chris ended up doing was faking like he was a gang member. He said that he was a part of the gang and now everybody in the school either feared him or didn't treat him bad no more. So the funny part too was Chris ended up having Caruso and his guys beat up each other for an opportunity to be in his gang. Now as it was floating around the school, you know Jim, Chris, Chris gym teacher, um, from the original series, he was somebody who was always kind of racist, didn't really like Chris, treated him worse because he was black. Um, it was a small thing, but you can pick up on it. They have that same type of vibe in the cartoon about the gym teacher. And Chris ended up going to gym late after the he had made the rumor that he was a gang member in the 
uh, the gym teacher started treating him better. Well, he ended up having to go to a meeting with the principal. The principal said they don't accept gang members at their school. Chris ends up getting kicked out of the school. He tried to hide it from his mama. Rochelle didn't went down to the school. The school, she basically threatened to sue the school. The school ended up letting Chris back in the school. And from that standpoint, Chris was good to go, but Julius was concerned. So what he ended up doing was calling the people who graded the GED test. They ended up finding out that it was a error in the system. It didn't mark him correctly. Chris ended up having a uh, taking a test with a number three pencil. Well, where did the number three pencil came from? We know that Julius is cheap. So he ended up buying number three pencils from Docs because they were 50% off and Chris rushing out of school, rushing out to school one morning and he didn't have a pencil and he stole one out of Julius draw or took one because it's his pops. He ain't really steal it. You know what I mean? So um, that's why the test was messed up. And the guy was saying he couldn't grade the test itself. He had to wait and let it be graded by the machine. But Rochelle basically ended up making the guy uh, grade the test. And voila, Chris passed his GED and Chris was now out of high school overall episode one was pretty cool i definitely would suggest that y'all go watch it episode one and two did come out so instead of just showing one hour long episode i guess they take into account that you know kids may want to watch it parents gonna watch it with their kids so instead of trying to have kids sit down for an hour and watch one episode they basically give them two short episodes which is essentially it's about 21 minutes long so that's a dope concept in order to be able to keep the attention span of the kids while also giving that nostalgia to be able to uh entertain the parents now uh to the cinema cronies drop in the comments and let me know if y'all like this and y'all want me to continue to do breakdowns of this don't forget to check out my original crime drama the barbetti family the barbetti family is the first black italian chicago crime syndicate they started in milan italy in 1920 and migrated their way to the states to take Take over the streets of Chicago. Thanks for listening to today's breakdown of Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. If you like what you heard, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. For more exclusive content and photos, go to Facebook and join Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. I'm Fairplay2333. This is Power Book Multiverse and Cinema, and salute to all my cinema cronies.